Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install PostgreSQL latest version that is 16.1 which is the latest one at the time of making this video on Windows 11 operating system. Open browser then go to PostgreSQL.org. See here the latest stable version is PostgreSQL 16.1. Click on download. Select the operating system family. So click on Windows. Now click on this download the installer. See here we have the following stable versions 16.1, 16, 15, 14. Okay, like this. So click on this download button. See, download has been started. The size is 361 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, download has been completed successfully. Click on this exe file. See, this is the setup window for PostgreSQL. Click on next. This is the installation directory. If you want to change the installation directory from this to some other, you have to click on this browse button and you have to select. Okay. Then click on next. See, we have to select the components. We have PostgreSQL server, PG admin, stack builder, and command line tools. Keep all, check all the checkboxes and click on next. And this is the data directory where the actual data stores. As I told earlier, if you want to change the data directory from the default location, you have to click on browse and you have to select. Okay. Then click on next. Here we have to provide the password for super user. That is, see here, Postgres. Provide the password for the Postgres. Okay. Remember this password. Click on next. See, the default port for PostgreSQL server is 5432. Okay. If, you, if this is already in use, you have to select the, you have to provide different port number. Then click on next. Local settings, that is, I am going with default one. Click on next. This is the summary of, this is a pre-installation summary of PostgreSQL 16. Okay. If you, if you want to modify anyone, go to click on back and change otherwise click on next and click on next click on next see installation has been started i am pausing this video until installation completes Setup has finished installing PostgreSQL on your computer. Let's verify before click on before clicking on finish. See here we have the PostgreSQL 16 and it installed PG admin also. Okay. Now if you want to go with the stack builder for additional tools and drivers, you have to keep the checkbox and click on finish. At this moment, I'm not going to Launch the stack builder. So click on finish. Now open PostgreSQL 16. All apps. Click on SQL shell that is PSQL or PG admin for both are same. So first we will go with PSQL hostname localhost database name default there is only one port also same username also postgres provide the password that which we have given see we have successfully connected slash l c we have the three databases postgres template 0 and template 1 In the same way verify list of the users see we have only one user that is postgres the other way to connect to postgres equal service by going to pg admin 
simply search here for pg admin you come pg admin for right click on servers select register then server here provide the server name just i am giving postgres equal 16 then in connection we have to give the host name or ip see this is my local host so i am giving local host otherwise you can give the ip also then provide the maintenance database there is only one database that is postgres username also one so i am providing password of this user click on save see here we have connected expand databases see here in pg admin it shows only one database but here it is showing template 0 and template 1 so those are not shown here okay query if you want perform any queries you have to right click on the existing database and select query tool let's verify the version of the installed process equal server this is the command select entire command and run this button see we have installed process equal 16 we can run the same command in psql shell also select version put semicolon at the end of the statement see we have installed process equal 16 suppose if you want to create a database we have two methods one by using gui or command prompt right click databases and select create then database here pro provide the database name i am giving r2 schools in the definition i am not going to change anything okay see this is the sql for the, this database if you want to change the owner you have to click on here if you want to provide customized oid that is object id for this database you can provide otherwise process equal text automatically click on save see new database created we can verify from here also slash l see new database has been added and this is the owner name these are other settings of the databases okay the other method is by using create database test one put semicolon and enter so with this sql statement one more database created let's verify slash l see new database has been added database names are in alphabetical order but here it is not showing right click and refresh see new database has been added in the same way if you want to create a user click on login or group roles or in the shell create user then username james with password provide the password see user is created successfully let's verify slash du see one more user has been added in the same way login or group roles select create and login here provide the name david definition like password no expiry means account cannot be expired if you want to set the expiry you have to click on this calendar and you have to set the date okay like this suppose you want see see after this date and time the account will expire okay but i am not going to set privileges if you want can log in so per user like this we can select i am not giving so per user privilege if you want to add the membership here we will get the sql okay click on save see one more user is added you can verify that slash du see one more user or role has been added to process equal cluster In the next step that i am going to show you the installation directory open windows explorer c drive program files process equals 16 data see here we have different data directories this base directory contains all databases information see these are the oid information log 
and other other folders like pg wall pg transaction and the important files are these are the and this pg underscore hpa.com file which contains host based authentication information which contains authentication rules whether particular ip or host names or users are allowed to this postgresql cluster okay the other one is postgresql.com file which contains postgresql server configuration information okay the ne next step is we will see how to start and stop postgresql server on windows operating system windows run then services dot msc go to p see here we have the postgresql 16 it is running if you want to stop click on the stop button or click on this link or right click and select this top in the same way if you want to restart right click and click on restart in the same way use click on this restart button or restart link all three are same okay suppose let's stop this one now close this shell open again all applications go to postgres folder process equals 16 SQL shell hit enter hit enter again again provide the see it is not, not asking password because server is see connection to server failed okay because it is stopped press any to quit in the same way right click and refresh it is loading which means we are unable to connect expand see yeah we cannot expand right click and refresh but if we start click on start button then go to C now it loaded in the same way open the PSQL click on it enter enter see now it is asking password of the user see we have successfully connected to the PostgreSQL server so in this video we have seen how to download and install PostgreSQL server 16.1 on Windows 11 operating system. Then we have seen how to create a database and users in PostgreSQL server. Then we have seen how to stop, start and restart the PostgreSQL service on Windows 11 operating system. For more PostgreSQL server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.